It's anti-democratic. It's an attack on our democracy. Athena Salmond, the ranking Democrat on the House Elections Committee, lashing out at House Bill 2043. Sponsored by Republican Representative Kelly Townsend, the proposal eliminates nearly all forms of non-photo identification at the polls, meaning a lot of voters will have to use a state-issued driver's license or identification card, which costs a fee of up to $25. So if we are only allowing photo identification as the acceptable form of identification to vote, mm -hmm. it's almost like a backdoor poll tax. The Townsend bill also takes aim at student IDs. Currently, they are not an acceptable form of identification, but the Democratic Secretary of State, Katie Hobbs, said that they could be used in future elections if the schools start including a mailing address on the cards. Now that we have a Democratic Secretary of State uh, that is advocating for more people to have access to their ballot, we see the Republican-controlled legislature try to take that away preemptively. We did try to reach out to Townsend for comment, but she did not immediately respond to our request. Now, should this bill pass next year, you still could be able to use your voter registration card or a certificate from the county recorder's office. But this bill does have some obstacles before it becomes law. Chief among them, they would need a uh, three-fourths vote out of this legislature because you're seeking to change, uh, make changes to the state constitution. At the state capitol, Dennis Welch for Arizona's Family.